Sense Sport uh, Sunburn Cream, which, uh, oh, this is actually a roll on one. It's, it's winter here, but we are coming towards summer, I guess, so it looks a lot like an underarm deodorant. Um, but it's just a roll on type one. They're actually quite good because they're a little bit less messy than using your hands to do so much of it. Um, SPF 50 plus, 4 hours water resistant, sand and sweat resistant, and made and tested in Australia, so it should be suitable for Australian conditions, which are yeah, pretty harsh, basically. Australia hits the people we live with. <laughs> pretty much. Uh, the next one is a H2 melon water. Um, okay. It's a bit one it's, melon. It's, uh, I'm trying to find where the ingredients are. Doesn't actually tell it's, me. It, it's right there. It's a hundred percent pure watermelon water. So basically, they've taken a watermelon and you just suck the life out of just it. Just liquefied it. They just suck the life out of it. Well, no, I think they they took the life out of it more than sucked. It's uh, looks like watermelon in there. Yeah, they taste exactly like watermelon that has been pureed. This is my new favourite drink. It, it's kind of got this weird milky taste to it though. Yee. It's, it's just strange because it's just watermelon. But um, yeah, that's uh, interesting. I don't think I'd actually buy it. <sighs> Next we have from Green's Cookie Thin Choc Chip. Cookies. Uh, apparently, these are good for ice cream sandwiches. You have to. You have to be insane to make me a cookie sandwich. You have to buy ice cream for that in the middle of winter. Um, oops, it's broken, but there you go. <laughs> so so thin that they're so fragile. They're they're quite thin. It tastes like a cookie. And chocolate chips. Thinner. It tastes exactly like a chocolate chip cookie. There's the other part of your biscuit. It's brother has come back. Yeah, it just it just tastes like a chocolate chip cookie. Nothing uh nothing surprising about that. There are in here four tins of soup. These are co-created by Manu Fidel. He is, um, Manu is a TV chef in Australia. He's French, but he lives in Australia. Uh, this one is classic French onion. We have a grass-fed beef fillet and barley. We have a Cajun chicken and rice. And we have a pumpkin and smoky barbecue, uh, bacon barbecue, smoky bacon. Um, they all sound bacon. really interesting, and I'm sure people in the, somebody in this house will eat them. Probably not me. Presumably one of my brothers. Yeah, there's too many ingredients in those that I don't eat. Paleo sucks. <laughs> um... Then we have 28 Black Acai Sugar-Free Natural Energy Drink. Very shiny can, very hard to read. It has silver writing on grey. Not the best choice, I have to say. Let me have a look at what's in here. Mum, it's for them rich people. It's got guarana and um, caffeine in it. So, probably not uh, suitable for... 
children's. But I'm a tween, friends. not a child. So. It's um. Just tastes like grape soda. Uh, yeah, a little weird. Um, not again. Not something that I would actually buy. Um, then we have from Natvia. Um, a little sample of their um, sugar. It's like stevia. Um, pretty much nobody in this house likes stevia. Yeah. It's a type of artificial sweetener. Not really artificial, but it's a different type of sweetener. It's got a weird taste to it. Um, yeah, so it's got like three tiny little sachets in it. Probably just stick it in the cupboard for if we happen to run out of sugar. Ooh. It's so tiny. This, this looks good. Uh, this is from Kellogg's. This is a protein bliss bite. <sighs> Gassy. Um, this is in salted caramel flavor. Has uh, roasted almonds, cocoa, and dark chocolate coating. Trying to find actual ingredients. Which I think because this is only like a sample, it doesn't actually have. <laughs> Excess consumption of this food may have a laxative effect. Which tells me that it has um, something probably like xylitol in it. Which is an artificial sweetener. And can have a laxative effect on people. So it just looks like a little chocolate block thing. It kind of looks like a Mars bar. Just a it ripple. does. Well, kind of the inside of it looks a bit like a Mars bar. It has nuts in it. Yeah, it has almonds in it. It doesn't really have a taste to it except for the chocolate. There's a slight caramel taste to it. It's supposed to be salted caramel, but it's very, very mild, which I actually prefer. Oh, look, now I can, I can taste it now. It reminds me of, just like a golden gay time. If you live in Australia and you've ever had a golden gay time, you'll know what I'm talking about. The outside of a golden gay time has this kind of like um, little chunks of like caramel in chocolate type thing. That's actually what that tastes like. You're not allowed to say golden gay time. I'm allowed to say golden gay time because it is actually a brand. No, it is a not. thing. Okay. Next, we have from Praise the Deli Style, Deli Style, the Sun Dried Tomato Whole Egg Mayonnaise. So basically, it's mayonnaise with sun dried tomatoes in it. I'm sure somebody will use this in our house sometime. Uh, then we have from Schwarzkopf, we have the Extra Care Hair Repair with Liquid Keratin, Fiber Therapy, Bond Restore, Repair in Oil Spray, Leave-In with Omegaplex. Overprocessed hair due to colour and styling. Might be my hair. Um, it's kind of like, it's a biphase one, so you shake it up and it changes like colour. But I will certainly try that. It's got, um, yeah, it's got some good stuff in it. So I'm actually looking forward to trying that out, see what that's like on my hairs. And Ebony has found in here, this is oh, from God. Ainsley Harriet, who is another TV chef. Um, the Singapore Roman Romantic Aromatic <laughs> Spice Rice with Chinese spices and red pepper. Uh, perfect with a sizzling stir-fry or as a tasty side dish. Um, Um, most of it looks okay. It just doesn't tell me if it's white rice or brown rice. It looks like white rice. Um, it looks like yellow rice. But you have to, like, cook it into... It's yellow because of the spices in it. You have to, like, put it into water and, um, like, cook it. It's not, like, just, like, a heat-up pack. It's actually dried. Um, but I'm sure at some stage somebody around here will actually just, like, use it. Um, getting down to the bottom of the box, uh, there is a 
social media thing from the Melon Water people. There is a recipe card using the mayonnaise stuff. There's a, a thing from Ainsley Harriet about the different things in his brand. And a Better Homes and Garden magazine. Um, Better Homes and Gardens is actually a television program in Australia as well, but the magazine's been around for longer. Uh, this is the October 2017 edition. Um, as I've said before, the reason you get one of these in it is that the company that bought Red Pawpaw is actually a magazine company as well, and they basically just put a free one of the latest one of the magazines in their range, and they have quite a few different magazines, so each month you get something different. And the last thing in here is something that we won't be able to use, but we do actually have a friend who will be able to use it. This is a Finnish um, dishwasher tablet thing. Um, it's, yeah, we don't have a dishwasher. Actually, we have lots of dishwashers, but they're two-legged version thereof. Um, but yeah, we... <laughs> But we do have a friend who has a dishwasher and we usually just pass these on to her. So that is everything that was in this this red pawpaw box. Um, I think for $20 is great value. It gives you some different things to try out. Often has a few snacks in it so that people can have a bit of a snack. Because we don't usually buy a huge amount of snacks. Um, it, it also tells you the things that you probably wouldn't buy that you might have been curious about. Uh, it's uh, $20 in Australia, delivered anywhere that you are in Australia for that $20. I have a link down below to Red Pawpaw if you are interested in um, seeing if it's for you. So if you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Let me leave us a thumbs up if you like unboxing type videos and leave us a comment down below. We try to respond to all comments and I'll see you Have in my next video. Have a magical, beautiful uh, unicorn rainbow day. See ya.